Hello everyone. Today I have a travel journal to share that I have handcrafted and hand stitched. I did a hidden binding with a pamphlet stitch. It's kind of jam packed right now because I've got stuff shoved in there. So let me take this. I made this little elastic printed elastic for a closure. Easy, removable. Let's pull out all, well, these extras. And this I will show you later. You might be wondering what that is. It's cute, but I'm not showing it yet. A little air of mystery. So this book is, well, the cover is from a book. I've made this little spot here for the dangle that I made with some charms, beads, uh, this piece came off a necklace and it actually is a locket. Oops, there goes my, uh, yeah, let's just, and it's removable that way probably when traveling, I will remove it. This is for a European vacation. Let's go inside. Um, well, let me just show this. These are all extras. So I have them in, uh, envelope, which I might like to also use, and then extra stickers. I'm not going to go through each piece. If you really want to see that, you know, let me know. And if enough people want to see that, I'll go through it individually. But I am planning on bringing these extras, and then there's some extra papers. So let me get right in the center here. This is the inside, and it had this beautiful illustration on the inside of the book, which I kind of wanted to keep, but I, when I journal, I need something to hold things. So I need pockets and I need pockets in the beginning. And that's what I've done here with this glassine bag is I was able to keep some of that original part of the book and still get my pocket. And then these are just stickers. This is fabric washi, the hidden binding here reinforced the book with Tyvek tape because this is an old book. I think in the 40s or so it was published, made. So there are my extra stickers there, which I am keeping. These are, are kind of flight themed, so sort of the beginning of the journey there. I love this paper clip, which I've had for a long time. Actually, I've managed to collect quite a few paper clips and now I get to use them. So there's my airplane. This I had, it was a scrap and I didn't like the back of it. It was from a 12 by 12 paper. So I covered up with stickers. These maps come from a vintage atlas and I've taken them out and used them. I should take that off, I forgot about this. And then I made here, let me see if I scoot that over. You flip out. I just added this paper. It's one of those beautiful papers that I had. So I had way too many papers to work with and that's part of the reason why I'm bringing some extra and I've got to add them in other ways because I couldn't fit them. I didn't want to overdo the book and not be able to use it. And so that's uh, just attached with washi. This is glued onto the back of that atlas paper and to form a pocket. And then I have journaling cards in there. Then some more lightweight scrapbook paper here that is reinforced and the other side of this one, the thin scrapbook paper is white. And you know, I think I've mentioned before that I don't like a ton of white space. So cover it up with some more of that fun paper. And those two coordinate that came from a six by six pad. And these all I had, I already had in my little stash of things more of that thin paper with some fun paper on the back, more of the atlas paper backed with some, this is a good basic palette for me to build on with my stuff. Another cute paper clip there and it's holding these uh, journal cards that I cut off of a 12 by 12 scrapbook page. And I left this in here. This was in the beginning of the book, but I put it here because I made this a little pocket, but because these books were f books, these images here were from the original book. Um, let me take that off so you can see it. They're not super strong. This is an old book. And so I used a lot of glue. So I didn't leave a lot of pocket space there. I glued here, I glued here, and I glued all the way up to here, I think. So there's, you know, just this amount that's left for the pocket. And so I won't be able to fit a lot of things in there. And then again, on this side, there is that pocket space. And 
this little flower is getting stuck there. So, but I just loved some of the images in this old book. And so, and of course, since the book is on Switzerland, it's, it fits with my theme. So I had to save some of them. Now this one I didn't turn into a pocket. I just, you know, wanted to use this paper and found a nice spot for it here. The back I did some spraying with. Cute little scooter paper clip. Did I mention that? And then more of those journaling cards. This is more spraying with that Tattered Angel spray. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's got a beautiful sheen to it with the gilded mica, whatever they have in there. And then this piece of atlas page is also backed with some pages that I got out of the book and I had to kind of reinforce them they were coming apart so I just used some uh, scotch tape there and I've made them a pocket here where I've got some more journaling cards and something else is in there oh yes these as well this was oxide ink, I believe, and I did some, whatever you call it, when you brush it on. I, I always lose my words when I'm filming a video because that's when I really need them. And here's a cute little paper clip here, and it's got this little spot that I could add a charm or something on, which is neat. I love this cherry paper, and it seems summery. I have a little folder with summery paper, so summary and vintage i'm just throwing it all together some more but you know different sections i'll put these right here so that's a pocket there and then this again is from the book and you can see it didn't like or my paper trimmer didn't like it when i was trimming it to size and chewed it up a bit but you know what that's fine with me as long as i got it in here and then i've reinforced i think this is washi tape here then we have a, like a, a paper bag here and embellished with some stickers. More beautiful journaling cards. Love these ones. This is the center. And on the other side, I forgot to show this detail. I don't know if this, if I can get closer. Can you see that? I can't even tell from the camera. Okay, so this is a paper fastener, like a brad, but it has this little guy around it and then this hook. And that's how I made the dangle on this side, or the place for the dangle. And then on this side, I have attached a bookmark that I made with this little charm at the end. Yeah. And then in the center here, my that's my stitching. And I just cut it real short and covered it up with these stickers. And on this side of the bag, I've cut the top open for a top loading pocket. I think I've got one more thing in there. Nope, that's just the sturdiness of the sticker, I guess. And those cute little cards go in there. These stickers were nice and thick. They all came on a sheet in a kit, um, or like a scrapbook paper kit, coordinating with some papers. This side has a narrow pocket. It's a little bit more narrow, so I trimmed down this standard 4x6 sized journaling card to fit in there and it's finicky to get it back in ah this I have jam-packed some fun cards into this side so I think I did some spraying here and then some some of that brush stuff man I still can't think of what it's called when you're brushing on but whatever this cute summary paper. I love this side too. And I love the fact here I've done a corner flip and it's perfect for writing on. There. This side, some of the springs come through. I don't care if, you know, maybe I'll cover it up, maybe not. Then this is that beautiful color there and another scrap of map. We've got the northern part of Italy and, and then the southern part of Switzerland, well, southeastern part of Switzerland there showing. I think that might be France there. Yes, Nice there and Austria there. And I've made it into a little pocket here. So more map and more places to tuck away goodies and memories. Memories galore, love the butterflies there. More of that beautiful illustration from the book. And I love to be able to take a book that's falling apart and give it new life and also honor that, you know, it's original 
time not that i think it is alive or anything but honor it by keeping some of that original character because that's what we love about these old books right it's that old character we don't want to completely destroy them we want to reinvent them perhaps and so yeah that's what i've done here i have taken another cool paper and just made a flip there and this paper is glued on into a little pocket here with tags galore trying to keep some of those vintage colors and the orange in the back and the blue here and do some nice color mixing there or whatever and there's that i love this this is a tattered angels spray and i just love how that turns out <clears throat> here's that card uh-oh i feel my throat going so please excuse me if i start to choke no. pocket here <clears throat> I might just be quiet for a bit. Because of course I don't have water here to drink, that is. Um, looks like an envelope. This part's clear. You know you talked too much when you start choking on yourself, your words. Okay, this is a cool paper clip. I love how this turned out. I've made this a flip down. And the little clouds there are adhered. And then this is the pocket. This was just one of those white pages, which white is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I love white, but in my creating part, I guess white is like, to me, it's uh, unfinished <laughs> because you start out with a white blank page and we can't have that, can we? So I don't know. I like to cover up white. And this pocket is short. Why is it short? I don't know because I made it short, but it fits this square perfectly. And here's the back. Another little view of Switzerland, France, and Italy there. This here is a um, smash book pocket. I've had, I got some of those for a song at a discount store a while back. And so I think it fits wonderfully in here. And you know, like I said, I need pockets. I have some extra cherry paper here tucked in there, some stickers, and voila, some of the original book pages with their lovely illustrations. Look at that. I hope I can find a home for that somewhere in my travel journal. And Lake Zurich. And I don't know exactly, you know, where I'm going. It's early days. Um, so I'm just tucking all these in here and, you know, maybe I'll use some of them and maybe I won't. This pocket is slightly bigger than my book here and it goes into my hidden, uh, binding area but I just kind of uh, gave it some flexibility there and I know I can't really use the full space of the pocket or else I won't be able to close it properly uh, but yeah it's still great to have this pocket here or if I had something really flexible I could put it in there and still be able to close it. And the last thing I have to quickly pop in here is an idea I saw somewhere else I think some youtuber had some extra sticker sheets and she suggested making words out of them and so that's what I've done here is tried to get as many words out of them I don't think I did as well as she did but I got some words that oops that I might be able to use hi fly this look location journey destination relax trip adventure roam I used you know both sheets there time world fun so I quickly ran out of vowels, which it's a real challenge, but maybe I'll do better next time I try to do that, and who knows. And anyway, I hope you liked seeing this. I'll try to maybe include some close-up pictures at the end if I'm really on top of things. Have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching. Bye!